everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I've got loads to do within the salon. Um, but I say loads, it, it is loads, but it's like a, like a few long, really boring tasks. Um, but you know, as I always say, I get more stuff done when I film it. So that is why you are coming along with me to do this. Um, so basically I need to label all of these literally all of those like all of those i want a label like on the lid um instead because it's actually becoming a nightmare having to find colors because they look different in the pot than they do as a swatch so it's difficult to locate them um i also need to finally finish swatching all those gels in the pots that i got from amazon ages ago because i still haven't got around to using them yet um, and I do want to use them in videos because there's absolutely no point me like buying stuff. I'm gonna put you in the holder. So as I was saying, there's absolutely no point me keep buying stuff and like like putting it on my channel. Like, obviously, I've not actually bought them and told you as a recommendation to buy them because I haven't done a review on them yet because I haven't swatched them. Um, but yeah, there's no point me keep like buying all this stuff and having it all and then not using it. So I need to swatch them. Um, there's quite a few left for me to do. So literally all of these, and then I've only swatched like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 out of all of them. So there's like at least another 12 to do plus more. Um, so I really need to swatch those. So I'm going to do that. And then, so yeah, I need to label those, swatch those gels. I also need to, what was the last thing? there's another thing i had to do but there's there's more things that i need to do um organization wise and i'm sure it'll be one of those things where as i get going like more things will just pop up i'm gonna open the blinds because i'm not working with gels so i can just have them open for a little bit um but yeah so i've got basically just got stuff to do that's really random and i just wanted to quickly just have a little chat with you as well just a really quick one and i always say that and then i talk for ages but it really is a quick one um I'm just find, finding life a little bit demotivating at the moment. I'm currently on the last day of a second 10 day isolation for the second month in a row. Um, so I had 10 days off last month and a pre-booked week off. So I only worked like eight days of July. And then as soon as August kicked in and the first week, I am now isolating for 10 days again. So it's just becoming a bit annoying. Um, so it's, it's a catch 22 because isolating means I have more time, but then to be fair, I have been unwell over the last week, not with COVID. Um, I was isolating because I've been in contact with someone, not because I got it myself and I didn't end up catching it, thank God. But I have had a cold, so I've been a bit unwell, so I've been in bed and just feeling like rubbish. And the more I have to isolate and the more this situation goes on for, um, the more fed up I get, basically. So at the moment, I'm not totally in love with my job, which sounds really horrible and is something that I never thought I'd say because I absolutely adore my job and I still do love it. But at this moment in time, I'm currently not loving it like it's just a bit of a nightmare um but I do realize how lucky I am I'm not complaining in any way shape or form like I'm very lucky to have such a successful business and I'm aware of that and I definitely don't want to change it for the world nothing is going to change but I just wanted to give a bit more insight on why I'm a bit all over the place um in every sense of the word like within my business I am like within youtube i am like with instagram i am like literally everything like i'm just behind with everything and i just need one of those days where i just get stuff done and i have nominated today as that day because it was the last day of my isolation and basically i've wasted a lot of it like i've made videos during isolation i think up to now i've done seven which is pretty good but i've had literally all day every day for the past like seven days to do things so seven videos in seven days is actually not that good um so today obviously i'm making this video and then once i've finished this one and done all the things i need to do i'm literally just be sat at my desk just doing nail art over and over to get as many videos as i can i also need to like catch up with doing videos of clients as well because that's one thing why i keep getting behind is because i keep forgetting to press record when i'm doing the client's nails so then i end up having to do clients and youtube whereas if i did a video of a client that is combining the two and then i don't need as much time because all i need to do is edit it and not actually film a whole separate video so i do need to get used to filming clients more often um I need to place some orders with a few different brands of different things. I want to try Tia's Beauty new gel polishes. They look beautiful. I really want to try some of those. I'm going to order a few. Um, Sparkles of Eyes UK has released some new glitters and they look beautiful as well. So obviously I feel like I need those. Um, 
Just lately I haven't been doing a lot of haul videos because I'm trying to get out of the habit of buying stuff just for the sake of having it. Like I've got a big collection as it is. I know it's not as big as some, but it's already sort of too big. And the chances of me using everything in my collection are very slim and I need to get out of the habit of seeing something pretty and having to buy it. Like I need to buy things because I need them and every now and then grab some things that I want instead of just buying everything because I can. So I need to be more sensible with that because obviously me and my partner do want to buy a house preferably this lifetime not the next um so yeah let's get straight into it i'm going to start by i also have a few glitters to swatch so i think i'm going to start by doing that um because the new glitters from sparkle supplies obviously I haven't swatched them yet and i want to keep i want to get back on top of swatching things as i buy them instead of then having loads of stuff to swatch all at once because i hate swatching as you all know um so i'm going to get those glitters out we're going to swatch those still haven't got any pots to put them in which is a bit annoying but it's one of those so we're going to swatch the new glitters i'll film that um, and then obviously I need to label those. I'm really sorry if you can hear the washing machine. Can't think about it. It's one of those things. Very irritating. Um, I need to label these. I also have this is my third task that I forgot about. I have this part of the uh, nail art that I need to sort out. Um, so I'm actually going to do that first. I just need to clear my desk because it's an absolute tip as usual. So I'll put that on a quick time lapse of me just doing a little tidy up. And then I need to sort out those practice tips into their sets and then I can put them on here. So let me just show you that one up there is obviously empty. I need to fill that. And then there's also one of the small ones at the top is also empty. So I need to fill that. And then I'm looking forward actually to using normal size tips. I don't really want to use these really long stiletto ones all the time for designs. Um, so I have decided that once these are all full, like that's it with the big stiletto ones, then I can stop buying them because they're really expensive as well and it's not necessary. Um, so I will move on to using just like full cover tips for nail art instead and I can put them in a book, like a photo album sort of thing. But anyway, that's for another day. Um, so yeah, let's tidy my desk and get going with these tips. Okay, so I finished just tidying up the desk real quick. I need to obviously just empty these now. I've popped this bit of kitchen roll here just because it blocks the light that shine on the glass because then it reflects, so it's a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, basically what I need to do, I'm really sorry if you can hear the washing machine. It's, it's really annoying, but it's one of those things I literally can't do anything about it. So we're gonna have to cope with it, I'm afraid. So basically what I need to do is like, just set these all out in their actual sets. So obviously like they're all different sets of nails i just need to put them all together i don't 100 percent remember um like what's in which set so i'm just gonna just literally just put them out like this and then hope that as time goes on like and the more that i pick up the more i remember where they're supposed to be sort of thing um sometimes it's obvious sometimes not as much because if the colors are similar and you know the same sort of design or color scheme or whatever it's tricky to know which ones are which so i'm not gonna actually talk through the whole process of this because it is a long one and it's actually pretty boring i will just speed through this real quick on a time lapse and then meet you back here at the end when they're all figured out and the jigsaw has been completed um so yeah i'm gonna put it on a quick time lapse now and then i will meet you back here when all is done Okay, they're all sorted out so all i need to do now is just put them in some sort of order because not all of the sets are in the order that they were intended to be in so i'm just going to do that now and then we can have a little look at how many we've got i need to count on my shelves how many i need because i don't think there's going to be enough here to fill my long one and my short one so if there's enough to fill the long one then i will do that one first and then obviously if there isn't i will just do the short one and then i can figure out how many i need to do more to fill the other one as well and then when they're done like i said i can move on to different types of tips because it's all well and good having these long ones like i do really like them to be honest um they are very good but obviously they're good at being able to show like a lot of a design but then when people don't want 
oh god when people don't want this um this length and shape sometimes it's difficult for my clients to imagine the design on a shorter nail so it would be helpful if they could be on shorter ones so that's what I'm going to do and we'll just see how I'll get on with that some of them it doesn't really matter what order they go in but some of them it does so obviously the ones where it doesn't matter like these ones I'm just going ahead and just throwing them anywhere but some of them I did them with a certain intention of an order so that one is actually lifting off the tip but I just don't have the patience to fix it so it's going to stay like that just ignore that and then we've got that one is that one again I am going to speed this up because I'm aware that it's not the most fun thing in the world to watch so I will join you back here as soon as I've finished Okay, they're all laid out, we're all done. This is what they look like. We've got quite a few. So I now just need to look at the shelf and see how many it needs. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So about seventeen sets we need, which I think I've got that here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, we've definitely got enough. So I'm going to pop these ones on this one up here. And to do that, all I do is just use the double sided tape. I always get a few people asking me which one I use, and it's this one. It's quite thick. Um, it's super, super thick, actually. And but it's really, really sticky. Like I can take nails off it and put them back on, and it's still as sticky. So it's really, really good. I used foam tape for this one, and it's not very good. It's it's a bit of a nightmare. But I don't want to take it down to do it all over again. So I'm just gonna do this probably on another time lapse i know that is all this video is but obviously time lapses have no sound and this washing machine is really driving me insane luckily it's only got 14 minutes left so majority of the video hopefully it won't be on um so yeah i'm just going to get on with putting these up on here and then we can see what they look like when it's done That is now done. So that top shelf is completed. I've only got this one now that's not got any on, which is fab. I've got a little pot here that has still got a few in that wouldn't fit on that top one, so that's good. So basically, what I need to do is swatch those Amazon gels, rearrange my Diamond Glitters Gel Perfection gels, because all of these, I bought them in... I think it was April, <laughs> and I've still not put them in yet. So they're not in colour order, but then the ones over here they're all in colour order so I need to pop those in with those to get them all in order again um which means I also need to put the swatches of them which are here in with the other swatches so that's going to be a real fun task um and then obviously I need to label the tears powders and I need to swatch the SSUK glitters so I think I'm going to swatch the glitters so I'm doing that as number one this as number two this is three and then I might do that as four obviously I do need to do that but I actually need to check how much label I've got because I'm not sure whether I'll be able to do them all but I might just do as many as I can um so yeah I've got four tasks to do and I've just put together the beginning of this edit the beginning of this video I've just edited it all together um just see how long it is so far and it's already like 13 minutes so I've got a feeling this is gonna be a really long one it might end up being split into two because I'm not sure whether you're really going to want to sit through an hour long video, but we'll see how it ends up. So yeah, I'm going to get on with this. So number one is swatch these glitters. So let's get those out. Okay, the washing machine stopped. So that's that's good. So I'm going to be using Magpie's uh, Ice Queen to do the swatching just because obviously I don't use Magpie's acrylic anymore and it's just sitting in my drawer. So I might as well use it. The only problem I've got is I haven't got a... Um, pot for these glitters like I, oh gosh, like I mentioned I haven't bought any yet I just keep forgetting 
because every time I mention it I'm in the middle of a video and I need to actually like order it that would make sense but I always forget by the time I finish filming a video so that is why I still don't have any but I'm just going to use a triangle to decant some into it and then pick it up with the acrylic and then obviously any leftover I can just pop back that was a bit excessive but there you go I can just pop back into the what's it so I've only got one two three four five six seven eight nine I've got eight to do I just wanted to quickly show you this one this is called Rosie you would have seen it if you watched my SSUK haul that was up a few days ago um I did mention that video that I wasn't sure whether I already had that glitter or not I actually do so it will be going into a giveaway because I've already got it so I don't need it twice so that's just gonna be added to the box I just thought I'd uh, update you on that because I did say that I thought I might already have it. So anyway, I'm just gonna get some, uh, what are they called, swatch sticks. I'm just gonna use these long stiletto ones because the more space for glitter, the merrier. Um, and then yeah, I'm just gonna go into my acrylic. I don't usually swatch with acrylic, um, mainly just because acrylic costs money and I don't see the point in wasting it. But obviously I don't wanna make a mess and because these are not potted yet, I just think that doing it any other way is going to be absolute chaos. So I'm going to do it with acrylic. Um, just because, like I said, this magpie acrylic is just sitting in my drawer anyway. So I might as well put it to good use. This is really, I don't really know if I was in focus. I'm really sorry if not, but there you go. I have woken up now and I will make sure that I am. Um, this is really different. I absolutely love this glitter. Very, very different to anything I've already got. I really like it. I'm just going to get some acrylic on the nail first because it's um, it's obviously shiny so it's not very sticky for anything to attach to and then I'm just going to apply glitter on top of it, on top of the wet acrylic making sure that as many gaps are filled as can be but I'm not worried if there's any that are not it doesn't really matter with nails this big that's why I like swatching on these but look how different that is I've zoomed in too far. This is the problem when I zoom in too far. It just does not want to focus. But look how different that is. I don't have anything like that. So that's really cool. So that is Pixels. Um, Just in case you want the spelling of it. I think this came in a... What's it? Uh, what's it called? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Oh, VIP box. Um, so you won't actually be able to find it on the website just yet, but it will be out within the next couple of months. And then next up, I've actually bought this quite a while. Do you know what? I'm just going to I'm gonna swatch the ones that are in pots first because it's just easier. So this is Soda Pop and these are shards. Absolutely beautiful shards, might I add. I'm well excited to see these on a nail. Um, I've just got a little pile of... Uh, swatch sticks next to me so again I'm just going to apply some clear to the whole nail just to make it tacky just makes it a bit easier forgot to do it the last one and it was a bit annoying and then I'm just applying the glitter like with I'm still using clear acrylic to apply it but I'm applying it sort of on top as well so I'm picking some up and then applying more just to get that nice coverage but like I said, I, I don't usually swatch with acrylic. I usually just paint a layer of no wipe top coat on the nail and then sprinkle the glitter over the top and then obviously put any excess back in the pot. But because they're not potted yet, that'd be a huge mess getting it back in the bag and stuff. So I'm making it out to be a lot harder than it would be, but basically I just can't be bothered. So we're going with this. We're going with this today instead. But anyway, there we go. How different is that? It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love the colours that that reflects. It's really different. So that's Soda Pop. And then next up we've got Myla. So I've got a pink and a purple. These are for sale on the website. You can get these now. They weren't in any special boxes or anything that are not released yet. So you can go ahead and get them. I'm excited to see these. So I'm just going to open them both. I do love Mylar. I don't really use it that often, to be honest, but I wish I did. Um, I do need to start using it more because it is very pretty. So let's just go in and, again, just create a sticky layer on there. I'm going in with the purple first. I'm just going to move it around slightly to 
making it as even as I can. It's easier said than done with Mylar. It has a mind of its own. I'm not bothered about it being full coverage, to be fair. I just want, just want you to be able to see what it reflects. Look at it. It's so, oh, just, I love it. It's so good. I'm probably going to speed up the bits where I'm swatching. Um, and then I will slow it down, like, back to normal and actually talk to you when I'm showing you what it looks like at the end of swatching it. Because... I've not got many to do, but I am very aware of how long this video is going to turn out to be. <laughs> so I'm going to try and prevent it being ridiculously long. Got to at least try. So that is the purple mylar. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is the pink mylar, again, beautiful, just look at it, it's so nice, absolutely love that. This one is called Dreamland, absolutely beautiful. It's got stars in it, it's so cute. I'm not sure how to pronounce this name to be honest, so I'm going to show it you instead. This is the name. Clarion, I assume. Clarion, Clarion, I don't know, but there you go. Look how beautiful that is. And obviously I'm going to like it because I love blue, but it's just stunning. I love it. So this one is called Grape Power. It's absolutely beautiful obviously that's the only word in my vocabulary during this video but look stunning So this is the last one and it is called Lemon Drops. It's just amazing. Absolutely love it. They're all really nice. Um, so I'm just going to write on the sticks what they're called and then this task is done. Thank goodness. So I'm finished swatching. That's all I've got to do today. I have got a ridiculous amount of glitters that I haven't swatched but these are the most recent so I'm glad I've got those done. Look how beautiful they all are absolutely love all of them. So all I need to do is just wait for them to set and then I will pop them in with the other ones so that's one task off my list I can cross off which is great um this to be honest <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it off I'm not gonna lie um I think I'm gonna go to rearranging the, the gels because this whole video like I know it's only like I don't know like half an hour for you or whatever but it's now 20 to 4 um for me and I started this video at like half past one <laughs> so it's been a while um and I just need to I need to do the things that are most important. Like, as much as I do want to swatch those Amazon gels, I do need to move um, all of these glitters, the glitters, all of these gel polishes to where they need to be. Um, so, yeah, in the meantime, like, while I was in the middle of doing things, I have put an order in for a few of the Tears Beauty um, gel polishes. So, I think I ordered four. Not 100%, I can't remember, but yeah, I ordered four because obviously I don't want to buy the whole collection because just because I work with Tears Beauty doesn't mean I automatically will love all of their products. There isn't any at the moment that I don't love, but you never know. So I'm not going to go crazy and just get every single colour there is. I want to buy a few. Um, I've bought like a variety. I think there's like a green, a reddy colour, a blue and a deep purple or something like that but I, I can't actually remember because I did swap and change a couple um but I needed some essentials anyway so I thought I might as well throw a few onto the mix um so yeah that'll be coming soon I'll do a video on those 
but for now I need to rearrange all the gels so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these gels off here all of them and also I'm just going to leave those there for now but I'm going to take all of these off and put them on my desk in the order that they're in at the moment and then I can slot the ones that are over here like into them and then obviously wherever I slot them I will slot these into the swatches of all the gels as well why is my phone not focusing do you know it's really irritating there we go <laughs> um so yeah I've got quite a few to sort out so I need to just tidy up this um first of all so I've actually got somewhere for the gels to go and then we can take them all off the off the shelves put them on the desk and then slot in the ones that i need to put with them and then basically put them back on the wall when i've put the swatches in with the old swatches so that's the plan we're gonna get going um and hopefully not take too long because i need to eat at some point it's nearly four o'clock and i've not had a drink or a food yet so need to do that as well so let's get going Okay, so everything's on the table. These are the ones that I already had on the shelves. And then these ones down here are the ones that were separate because they're like technically new. They're not new anymore because I've had them for months, but they are new compared to the rest because they're the most recent ones I've bought, even though it was like April. And might I just add, I'm very proud of that fact that I've not bought any since April. So props to me. Um, anyway, so basically my plan is I'm just going to pick up one from over here and then pop it where I think it should be. So I've left some space like on the ends of these so I can just move them over to slot in any that I think need to be added somewhere. So I'm going to put this one here, which is called Glitter Slippers. So I'm going to take off all the swatches from this reel and basically... I'm just, as I sort them out, I'm going to find where they are in here and like slot them in where they're supposed to be. So obviously I've just put that one next to the two pinks on the end of this, but after the last gold. So I'm just going to pop this swatch stick where it needs to be. And that's basically how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to do that with every single colour, figure out where I want it and then slot it in. Um, I'm not going to obviously film it all in real time because it's going to take a long time and it's going to be pretty boring. Um, so I am just going to like do my usual time lapse. Um, I get that time lapses are probably really boring for you because obviously I'm not even talking to you through them. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things like these boring tasks take a while. Um these are actually in the wrong order, which is really annoying. So we need white, platinum, snow angel, moonstone, quartz, then glisten. So yeah, these tasks are just long and boring. And to be honest, I don't have that much to talk about. Like there's nothing going on at the moment um, for me to even chat to you about because obviously I've been isolating for so long. So it's sort of just like, there's not really any fun stuff for me to randomly chat to you about. So because of that, that is why I'm doing so many time lapses in this video. And because the tasks themselves are really not that exciting. So, you know, it's uh, it's one of those. I've just put one down a bit where I've put it before Gold Coast. There it is. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do this on a quick time lapse because time lapses are like really deceiving as well. Like something that takes me like an hour is like a 40 second time lapse it's absolutely insane but yeah i'm gonna do it real quick well i'm gonna do it in normal time you're gonna see me do it real quick and then we can finally put them all back on the wall i don't think i'm gonna do the other two tasks that i have left to do today um mainly just because i'm a bit fed up now like i feel like i've been messing around with this like day for a really long time and i'm getting a bit bored of it now to be honest it's been going on for long enough so i need to do loads of nail art videos as well which i'm not gonna lie I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to get around to that either because like I said like I'm a bit fed up now I've been in here way too long it drives me insane um but yeah so I'm gonna continue this video as a time lapse and then I'll meet you back here when it's time to sort the shelves out Thank you. 
and we're done thank goodness that took way longer than i wanted it to it was only like seven minutes but it was like the longest seven minutes of my life and somehow my back is absolutely killing me and that's before i even started putting them back on the shelves so i'm gonna put them back on the shelves now i'm not gonna film it because i'm literally just filling a shelf it's really not that exciting but i will show you how it turns out afterwards and then I am going to finish that video here because I'm in agony, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't take much to be honest because I am, I can't even say old and crippled, I'm just young and crippled. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put all these back, pop all these back on the swatch shelf which is just up here. And then that is it for this video. So let's get popping these back on the shelf and then we can see, well it's not really going to look that much different but we'll see how it looks. Okay, they are back on the wall and that is it for this video. So just over here, I've popped them all back on. Super happy with how it looks. Um, obviously it doesn't look any different to you, but I can tell the difference. I keep tripping over things when I'm walking backwards, but I can tell the difference between like the colours and stuff all lining up now, especially those ones over there. Let's see if we can... Okay, don't know what happened there, but I can't zoom in while I'm... Uh... Oh yeah, I can. I was just clearly doing it wrong. Oh gosh, okay. That's not what I was trying to do. But anyway, those ones over there look different. I'm happy with that. So obviously I do still have two tasks left to do. I need to label all of those and also swatch those potted gels, which I will get around to doing, but just not today because it is now half past four. Still haven't eaten. I need to have something to eat. Um, and yeah, but I'm really happy with how much I have done today. Obviously I still need to film some nail art videos and stuff. So I'm going to be here in here a lot longer. I just need to end this video because it is going on for a really long time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching as always. Um, I really, really appreciate it. If you don't already subscribe, then please do. And if you already do, then thank you so much. And I'll be back really soon with the next video. Bye.